In the world of science fiction, filmmakers have created different visions of what a spaceship from Earth might look like. More grounded in aerospace engineering, this is a model of what it could look like. Not just a ship, but a habitat that could sustain life for a long time. The idea is to make a research facility that you could modify things as you go. In the beginning, it might be uh, just a tourist destination. But the ultimate goal of a space habitat like this one, says aerospace engineering professor Robert Skelton, is solving problems astronauts have been facing since the first person went to space almost 60 years ago. We've been in space for 60 years, but in zero G or microgravity, and it's very unhealthy. The pressure in, of the fluid in your body feels gravity, so the pressure is higher in your feet than in your eye. So in space, the pressure is the same everywhere in the body, and that's too great for the eye, so it flattens the eye. So all astronauts go into space with 20-20 vision, but few come back that way. That's just one example of health problems that occur in zero gravity. Skelton's habitat would not only rotate to create gravity, but also provide radiation protection and food for sustainability and a growth capacity. This space habitat is designed with a concept of tensegrity. If you look at these kind of structures... The word tensegrity is a combination of tension and integrity, just like how the body moves with muscles and bones where they strengthen each other. Skelton says the habitat would start small and the rest would be built in space using many materials outside the earth. We want to design robots that can build integrity structures in space using materials from space, regolith from the moon or regolith regolith from the asteroids. Regolith is a layer of material, such as rock or dust, that sits on top of the bedrock of asteroids or the moon. Skelton says the habitat can initially be in an orbit that goes from the Earth to the moon like a figure eight to mine the moon and get supplies from Earth. Once built out, Skelton envisions trees, animals, lakes and ponds, and an area for growing crops. The diameter of this thing is 500 meters, which is about five football fields. At its full scale, there would be room for 8,000 people. Skelton says space should not only be accessible to astronauts who are in top physical condition. We want to open up the space and give some semblance of Earth so that citizens go there and can build uh, a commercially sustainable occupations. Skelton says the conclusion of this project is ending with a report to NASA he says if there is a next step, it would be to build structures and samples to test out the materials that could be used in this space habitat. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, College Station, Texas.